My name is Jay Simmons. I am a software engineer in the Active Directory team here at Microsoft. I'm here today to demo a new feature in Windows Local Administrator Password Solution, also known as Windows Labs, that is related to improvements we've made in the post-authentication actions policy. This talk assumes that you do have some basic familiarity with Windows Labs. If you're brand new to Windows Labs, I encourage you to review our online docs and also consider watching the videos that you'll find linked there. So on the screen we have a Windows 11 pre-release OS that is domain joined to a test domain. Um, I do want to point out that the feature we're about to demo is only available in currently available in Windows Insider builds and of course any future OS's that we do release. Alright so let's get started. So what is post-authentication action? So this is a security risk mitigation feature designed to reduce the amount of time that a Windows Labs password is usable. So without this feature, imagine that the Windows Labs password is rotated on day one and then it's retrieved and used on day two. But if the rotation period is 30 days, that leaves 28 more days that the password is uh, in theory available in the wild and is still valid for use. So what the post authentication actions feature does is that it configures Windows Labs to uh, automatically rotate the managed accounts password a, a configured number of hours after the account has been used for authentication to the device. And in addition you can also specify that some other actions be taken at the same time. So these actions uh, currently include resetting the password, uh, resetting the password and logging off any interactive logon sessions plus any SMB sessions and, or you could choose to reset the password and reboot. Now the feedback we receive from our customers is that the it worked good as far as it went but many of them use the, their Windows Labs credentials for over-the-shoulder authentication scenarios and or run as dot exe style scenarios and when the PAA the post authentication actions uh, were executed uh, the, those individual processes were not terminated so we we're here today to say that we've added something to fix that so uh, let us go back we're going to take a look at the local account we're going to use so for the purposes of this demo we're using this local account called laps admin and we're now going to configure the local laps policy to back up the password and manage that accounts password so laps admin we just make sure things are encrypted we are going to now configure the new PAA option so we're going to enable it and we, we obviously don't want to wait around for, for hours and hours within a demo so I'll talk a little bit more about this but for now to set that to one and here these three are the three existing uh, options that I have already described and here is a new option uh, we will when you select this we will reset the password we will log off any interactive logon sessions um, and SMB sessions and then finally terminate any remaining processes so we're going to select the new option and hit OK. Uh, last but not least, we're going to configure the password backup directory. Now we're going to an AD, AD test domain, so that's what we're selecting. I do want to point out at this point that um, this improvement applies equally to uh, a machine is usable just as well for a machine that was backing its passwords up to Azure Active Directory so but for now we're just for the demo Active Directory okay so we've configured the lapse policy and let's just make sure that lapse has processed that looks good and now we're gonna go retrieve the newly stored password And there you are. So 11:51. You can see that we just just now um, stored this new brand new password. All right. Now remember when I said we don't want to wait around for hours and hours. So uh, to prevent that, uh, we're going to set a test hook flag um, that is only supported obviously for demo purposes. 
So what this flag does when set is it causes the grace period, which is normally specified in units of hours, it causes that grace period to be interpreted in minutes instead of hours. So we have it currently set to one hour, but with the flag I just set in the registry, it will be interpreted as one minute. Now I do want to say, obviously, anyone that wants to try this out can do, do that, feel free. Um, but it's only for demo and testing scenarios, and, is and this flag is not supported for production. All right, the next thing we're going to do now, now that we have our newly backed up password, is we're going to launch some processes. So we're just... And uh, obviously when you use runas.exe, that, that under the cover it's just doing an authentication. And I'm going to paste in the password, and there it is. There we have. A, let's do another one for fun. And let's launch a notepad from each of those. Now remember, the one-minute timer kicked in the moment I did the very first run as, so we won't have very long to wait here. And while we're waiting, let's see here. Da, do, da. Should be any moment now. And as we expected, um, the lapse post-authentication actions kicked in. So let's go take a look at the event viewer and see if we can figure out what happened here by looking at the event viewer. All right. So this event right here, 10,041, is the first event where, um, where LAPS detected that I did the initial run as.exe on the managed account. And you can see that it detected the, that the account was used and it um, set up the next, uh, the PAA deadline for one minute plus. So you can see that the very next event is an immediate one minute after. And let's just walk through these events really quickly. So the grace period has expired. We're starting to execute a processing cycle to rotate the password. And we're getting a dump of the all the stuff, all the policy settings, backing up to ADE updating it because of a PAA action and there's the, the DC that we're using we updated the password we rotated it locally it succeeded now we're back to PAA specific stuff now we have to execute the given actions so we did not find any interactive logon sessions and we didn't find any SMB sessions but we did find six of these guys. So there's a command.exe, a conhost.exe, which is obviously one of the implementation details, command.exe, conhost.exe, there's our first notepad, and there's our second notepad. And we are complete, and that's the last event. So. One of the feedback items we received from customers is that the post-authentication actions, when they were getting executed, there was not enough transparency into what was really going on. And so hopefully you can see now that um, there's a plenty of additional um, uh, 
information in the event log to let you know exactly what we found and what actions we took. So, uh, so thank you for watching. Oh, let, really quick, let's just go get the new password and see. So you can see that we have the uh, the new password, which is definitely rotated from the old password, all done automatically via post authentication actions. So just to wrap up, uh, what this new feature is is that is a new opt-in feature in the Windows Labs post authentication policy that allows you to tell Windows Labs to terminate individual processes that might be left even after we've logged off any interactive logon sessions. And if you're using over the shoulder or run as.exe whenever in your in your in your enterprise when using Windows Labs credentials, this could be another useful tool for you um, uh, in helping to ensure that those credentials stay secure. Thank you very much. If you have any feedback, please feel free to email me at jsimmons at microsoft.com, J-S-I-M-M-O-N-S at microsoft.com. Thank you very much.